Well, it's almost Christmas 2013, so we think it's time to start decorating for the holidays. What we're going to start with is a wonderful yard light decoration that's easy to do, and it's something that you can easily replicate at your own home. You know, if you have a nice yard light, there's nothing that says welcome to your home more than a pretty decoration on it. You know, when you're considering the lamp, there are several things that you want to think about, like how do you want the garland to flow on the lamp? We're starting with an inexpensive piece of uh, just our basic garland. This is something that uh, is readily available at any of the hobby stores, or you can get it, of course, we carry it, uh, for a, a, a nine-foot piece is about $16.95. Now, there are less expensive ones, but you want to really look for a full one that has a nice tip count, which means that it has uh, quite a few wires per foot on the garland. There are several ways you can attach it to the lamp. You can either go up and over the top like so, or you can start here and just go around it like this. For this one, we're gonna do just a real traditional earthy style of design that I think you'll really like, but it's not the traditional red bow and pine cone look. It'll really be something unusual and eye-catching and elegant for your home. What we're going to do is start right here around the base of the lamp, like so, and we're just going to pull it tight, pull the two ends of the garland tight, like so, and just twist it around itself. And then take a piece of just the end of the loose greenery and go back and tie it again, just so that it's doubly secure on the lamp. <clears throat> then we're just going to kind of give it a candy cane twist down the lamp. It doesn't have to go very far down. I think sometimes it's even more effective if it doesn't go all the way this way. What we're going to add to this are some branches of long needle pine that will give it a really nice flare. And then I have some uh, beautiful uh, artificial pears and the artificial hydrangea that's kind of in an antique fall coloration. And then ma beautiful magnolia leaves and then this is like a silk cedar, or an art, it's, a, it's a, actually a plastic, it's not a silk, but it's really a pretty artificial. And then like an arborvitae green that's really pretty. So um, that will be what we're gonna accent it with to start with. So we wanna start with the longest pieces first. And that would be the cedar and the, uh, the uh, arborvitae foliage. This is the arborvitae. And what we're going to do is cut the stem a little bit shorter, like so. And then we're just going to twist this right into this garland so that this becomes the focal point. Like so. And you can see that by having this greenery on the lamppost to start with, it really gives you a nice place to anchor any other things that you add. So we have that bit of the uh, artificial arborvitae, and then this is the cedar. We're going to bring it on down the front of the lamp post, like so. So that it kind of uh, uh, makes a beautiful swirl around the post like that. And just grab a couple of pieces of that wire, the wire in the garland that we've attached to the lamp post and uh, use it to, to tie the evergreen into the, into the design, like so. Now we're gonna use some of the long needle pine branches. You know, when you do a design like this, you can use as much or as little as you like. It really, uh, it, it, the more you add, of course, like anything else, the more beautiful it is. But uh, you can stop where your budget stops you. You know, you just you can just quit when you're ahead and, and call it good. But I, I'm going to kind of do this one up uh, to the max, mainly because this is going to be for uh, part of our Casa to our house this year which is a, a beautiful colonial in Westboro in Topeka, which is 
really a beautiful traditional home and we're going to see the front of the house in a little bit. <clears throat> but what we're going to do is get the lamp post done first and of course for the uh, Christmas house tour we want everything done up as beautifully as we possibly can. So it raises money for a great cause and it, it shows, gives us a chance to really show off our work. Gives me a chance too to show you how we do it. So here we go. I'm going to add a little bit more of the artificial cedar. I think it is so pretty. I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher in the arrangement. I've cut off uh, three pieces of it like so. <clears throat> I'm just going to tuck it right in here. Yes. And we'll do a little piece of uh, this beautiful artificial magnolia. This is one of my favorite uh, Christmas foliages. It's, it's real traditional in the South. It's a lot harder for us to grow in Kansas than it is in Georgia where my dad's from, but um, it's a beautiful, beautiful foliage and it's a real traditional Christmas greenery in areas where it's used, where it grows naturally because it's, uh, it's plentiful and, and long lasting. So, we're just going to kind of pretend we're in the south for a little bit. Like so. And you can see what a nice element that adds. It has, you know, those big leaves are such a nice contrast to all the evergreen foliage, which is a lot more uh, delicate and lacy. Now we can go back and make sure that it's attached firmly by going under this and grabbing, we're going to grab the garland, the, the original one that we put on, and just, again, grab a couple of wires and twist it in so that it'll be nice and solid. And now to kind of give it a nice focal point of color, we're going to use these beautiful artificial red pears. I think they really give a nice touch this time of year, and they they have that beautiful natural look that we're going for. And what I've done to attach them is I pierced them with just a, a wire, a 21 gauge wire, through the edge of the pair. I don't know if you can see that, and then twisted the wires together. This gives us an easy way to attach it right into the uh, part of the arrangement here, which really will give us a beautiful natural focal point. So we're going to just put some pairs right through here. So, and then here, and you'll see in a little bit why we've chosen these materials, because they're going to be uh, what's used to decorate the front of the house as well, so it will really it will really be a pretty compliment to, to what we're doing to the front porch. We've got four pairs, but we want to uh, try that. I do think an odd number looks is more pleasing, so we're going to go ahead and add one more. All right, so. And then the other elements that we have are the beautiful hydrangeas. Then we have sort of an interesting surprise element I want to talk to you about. These are the hydrangeas. Now these started out as beige and I've tinted them with a natural green color and a little bit of kind of a black cherry tone to give them the look of, of a late fall hydrangea that's dried naturally on the bush. I think they're so pretty. And what we're going to do is just tuck them in right in here just by folding a little piece of greenery over the center of the hydrangea and that will hold it in real tightly. So you can see we've got these pretty hydrangeas and pears, magnolia, a little bit of cedar and pine. And then um, 
the fun little surprise edition. This is a really interesting uh, artificial flower. It's an artificial hanging amaranthus, which grows in the gardens in the summer, and it's available uh, commercially pretty much through the winter, but I think it's really beautiful. It's, uh, it, uh, it's a kind of a, a pretty soft green color, and it has these really interesting kind of tenderly flowers that are just beautiful. We're going to shorten it up a little bit so that we can use it here on the lamp post just by cutting the stem. <clears throat> and then we're going to add it right into here. Once again, by getting into that original garland and twisting it, like so. And one more piece here. Doesn't that give a beautiful, interesting look? I think it's so good looking. And we're going to put one kind of toward the other side of the arrangement here. By adding it right back in. There we go. Now when you look at this, you know, it gives it just a really beautiful natural look. It's not sparkly and flashy like it, uh, so many traditional decorations are, but it's colorful and it's subtle and it's beautiful. And I think it will make a nice welcome to any home for the holidays.